people is asking me what I got on. They be like, hey, Brandon, what you got on? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Invis is everything braces isn't. More comfortable, fewer emergency appointments. Invisalign. We are back with the story of great success for Salinas Run. This Alisal senior worked picking lettuce with his dad in the fields of Salinas, but he has worked hard to change the cycle of success, as our Jack Johnson tells us. As a student athlete running cross country at Alisal High School, Mario Carrillo aims to finish first for himself, but this year he achieved a much more important first for his family. On the surface, Mario Carrillo is like many other students at Alisal High School in Salinas. Mario comes from a low-income family, with his father spending many hours working in the fields of Central California picking lettuce. The stress of living paycheck to paycheck can take its toll on any family, so Mario turned to running as a form of escape. It all started when I was sophomore year, when my friends invited me to go run with them. I, I wasn't really into sports when my friends pushed me to do sports it opened a whole new world for me it, it really improved my health for mario running not only aids his physical health but also allows him to attack his homework with a clear mind taking like a heavy course load and saying for tutorials after school and then looking forward for a relaxing run in the afternoon just distressed myself from the heavy work once I would get home my body would ache but it was relieving to just sit down and like full-on concentrate into homework. The window of opportunity is not as wide for the son of a farm worker as it is for students with more opportunities but at Alisal student athletes like Mario are taking advantage of what little opportunities they have. Yeah ever since I started here 13 years ago um, I've had a lot, I mean the majority of my, my students and athletes are first generation to go to college. Um, you know, many of them are, are immigrants themselves or they, their parents came and they were born here. Um, and there are a lot of them that have parents that work in the fields and um, they themselves have worked in the fields um, over the summer. Um, sometimes they'll have to travel with uh, the crop to Arizona um, and they know and they've been given an opportunity uh, by coming here to the States to be able to go off a a a a to college and, and do something different with their life. Mario knew his prospects would be tough given his situation, so he decided challenging himself in the classroom would be the golden ticket to success providing him the higher education his father did not have. The, some of the material was pretty difficult. Physics was difficult, but at the end, I would get inspired by my family. Like the hard work that they have done is just added to keep pushing forward and um, break expectations from like other students that might have more. Mario's parents raise a family of six, all living in a one bedroom apartment. Mario's father didn't want his son to work in the fields, so he decided the best way to inspire Mario was teaching him firsthand the life of a farm worker. It did happen. I did go work alongside my father um, for a good period of time. But he, the reason why is because he wanted to ingrain rather than picking up a box of lettuce with your back. You, you, you would rather have a backpack with a computer and the pencil. And it really opened the like. It inspired me to keep working hard. I, I did not want to live the same lifestyle, the, the backbreaking labor that my dad had. The lessons Mario took from his time in the fields with his father gave him all the motivation he needed to ensure both he and his siblings would never live a life of manual labor. He's my, my father's my inspiration. Like, that work, it's like not something I would be able to do. It's not something that I, won't, I don't want my siblings to do. It's, he does that for, he sacrifices his health for his family and I'm truly grateful for that. Mario continued to rack in high marks in the grade book. The chance to attend a university began to present itself. Mario needed as much financial aid as he could get, so he went on a search for a scholarship program to assist his application process. Originally, I did not plan on applying to top schools until I was with my friends and we, we were researching schools and we figured that the top schools, the more 
prestigious universities give the most aid. Aid would be like the number one factor and the reason why I applied to Columbia. These schools have so much money to give out and I applied through this program called QuestBridge which is for low income, high achieving students. They offer full rides to, to students that come from under-resourced backgrounds. And so it's until I met that, that program that I really wanted to shoot top schools. And so I applied to Stanford, MIT, Columbia, and Yale. Then the magical moment arrived. All the hard work in school and in the fields helping care for his siblings paid off. Mario had pulled himself up from difficult circumstances in a low-income family to be the first Carrillo to attend a university. And not just any college, Mario will go full ride to Columbia University to receive an Ivy League education this fall. I was overjoyed. I'm super grateful. It was, I did not expect to be accepted. I understood that these schools are very selective and just the fact that they accepted me and wanted to give me a full ride to their school. It just brought me joy. I, I, for the first time, I saw my father cry. It's, I just knew that I made it. Mario knows he has set an example for his younger siblings and hopes his hard work can serve as a roadmap for them to follow. Immediately, I thought about my siblings, how well, I have to set an example for them and how I want them to do the same thing. I don't want them to, to struggle and wait, so I'm, I'll be there for them. Uh, I set like the expect encouragement for them. From the fields of Salinas to New York City, Mario Carrillo is changing his life by using education to change the cycle of poverty. At Columbia, Mario is looking forward to running a little bit, but most importantly, to getting an education that will propel him forward in his life. Robert and Aubrey, back to you.